So happy to be joined by Teresa Resch, Toronto Raptors Vice President of Basketball Operations on what is a historic Friday. What was your reaction when you first heard or saw the news? Finally. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah. uh, like you said, it's been a long time. I think there's a lot of women out there who are very qualified to lead teams, uh, whether it's in the MLB, NBA, NHL, uh, NFL. And um, it was only a matter of time before this happened. So it's great to see uh, the Marlins really uh, when they break the glass ceiling with him. It's a, it's a shattering of sorts, you know, because again, it is the first of its kind in male North American professional sports. What impact do you think this has across the landscape of sport in this uh, continent? Uh, yeah, I think it'll be a huge impact. I think that, you know, in a lot of, in not only in sports, but in a lot of society, you just need that first to walk through the door and a lot will follow. Uh, you know, I think Vice President-elect Kamala Harris in, uh, in the U.S. said it well. She said she may be the first, but she definitely won't be the last. I think that, I mean, I don't know Kim. I, I can't speak for her, but she probably is feeling very much the same because um, I'm sure that she's worked with a lot of great women along the way, even in MLB. And I know that there's a lot of women in the NBA who are uh, positioned well, um, have the resume, you know, Kim's resume speaks for herself um, to really lead a team. How soon do you think it is before we see a female GM or female head coach in other professional sports? We know the NBA is at the forefront of having women in high executive positions, such as yourself, and high coaching positions, such as Brittany Donaldson as an assistant with the Raptors and several others amongst the NBA landscape as well. How far do you think we are from having someone at the head helm in that sport or others? Well, I'm not going to predict it. You know, obviously mm -hmm. there's anybody at that role right now, and you don't wish anybody to lose their job because basically mm -hmm. what has to happen. But, I mean, it's right there. There's uh, NBA has done a great job of investing in talent um, in the in developing talent along the way. So there's people who are ready, who are positioned and have the knowledge, the expertise to lead a team, whether it's on or off the court, uh, building a team or coaching a team. Um, it's only a matter of time. I'm not going to predict it's next year mm -hmm. after that. But I think the other thing that's really important when you talk about these roles is um, is fit. Um, you know, every person bring something to the table that's unique and you need to find the right fit for your organization. You know, we went through that at, at the Raptors um, when coaching searches and, and front office searches and, and it's, it's what people bring to the table. And just because you're ready doesn't mean the opportunity is right for you. And that also means that the opportunity might not be right for you because the next one will be. So mm -hmm. I think there's some patience that needs to be displayed on that because not every single person is right for every single job. And, and the trick is finding the right fit for you. And um, I look forward to seeing that happen very soon yeah. for some of my female colleagues. Yeah, again, as we started this, it, it was with a big finally, you know, because uh, yeah. it is it is long overdue. Uh, there's going to be a lot of young girls, Teresa, that see this news much like they see you in your position. They see Coach Donaldson in her position with the Raptors. They see several other women in positions of prominence in male North American sports, at least what was traditionally known as male North American sports. And they're going to feel inspired. They're going to feel motivated. They're going to feel moved by the news. What do you say to those young girls who have those aspirations as well? Yeah, keep dreaming. Keep keep preparing. I mean, I, like I said before, I, I think that it's tricky because there is only so many roles and ultimately you got to get a, you got to be a little lucky. Um, and when I say that is, it's basically, you need to be prepared for when the opportunity presents itself. You know, there's people that have been prepared, but you know, the opportunity maybe never wasn't there. And there's other people where maybe the opportunity was there, but they weren't quite ready. So you got to get a little lucky where those things really fall in line um, to find that success and, and be able to really, you know, lead a team. But with that said, I think all those, all the girls who see that as inspiration really just goes to show that, you know, representation matters. Um, if you can see it, you can be it. And hopefully that helps them, you know, continue uh, over some of those hurdles that we're bound to run into no matter who you are on your on your you know path to your ultimate goal. Toronto Raptors Vice President of Basketball Operations Teresa Rush, thank you for your time and your perspective. Thanks for having me and making space to talk about this very historic hire.